All right, we've come back to Lothric Castle now. We're going to push forward. Remember, if you head back down to the right, um, you will once again meet up with your exciting Lothric Knights. So, in here, that's obviously a mimic. Let's see if it is. So we're finally going to meet a few. Oh, it's not a mimic. Look at that. Hood of prayer, robe of prayer, skirt of prayer. Oh, here we go. Not a mimic. Don't be stupid like me and waste. There's a chunk. That doesn't work. Now these guys, although they are the enemies from the start of the game, are now hitting way harder than they used to. So don't just stroll up to them thinking you're going to knock them out because you're not. If we look around there, we can see We've got So he's just going to sit there. Uh oh. Uh, we're going to have to just fight him because this is insane. We can see that guy there. Him we can just shoot. If we can actually get it to work. Man, this bow and arrow am. I tell you what. We've got a Bastard. Two whacks of the Wolf Sword. And we're going to do a little bit of damage to him. Now, if we look up top, there's a, a person up there. If you can take him out from a distance, do that. Because all he's doing is sitting up there throwing Estus um, Undead, Estus Problematic Thingamy Jiggies. That, you know, stop you using your Estus. And we know that Estus is cool. Ambush! Kill off the ambush, grab the chunk. Not a bad ambush. He hits you with the anti-Estus thing. You go down there, not able to do anything about your health. And then three doodle eaters. I'm after you. Now, when we run in here, there's going to be a winged knight. So, straight in, straight up. All right. Now, you won't be able to, for some reason, well, not some reason, because he's smart, he kind of hangs around down there and you can't get him. See? You get that, like that one shot, and then you might have to come all the way over here again. See? So, you can't. It's just that they're bloody hard. He's got the dual axes. I can just get his bum. It's, we are going to be better off just trying to land on the bastard, but... But see, it doesn't actually do anything. Alright. He grabbed the Twinkling Titanite. And he's dropped a large Titanite shard. So you're going to get quite a few large shards now if you're looking to upgrade stuff. Now, keep in mind, if you've picked up all the ashes that we've picked up so far, you can, by now, here we have a little fake wall. And down the end of the fake wall, the Winged Knight outfit, which is cute. 
sacred bloom shield. Sacre bleu! And we're on the roof. We're up on the roof. Now, of course, from our little vantage point up on the roof, we can see where we did come from. So we can go back down there. That's where we've come from, in there. And we've come around. Uh, the winged knight outfit is huge and round and rotund. Let's see if we have a look at it. Uh, where is it? There it is. So if you're looking for a tubulon, that's the way to go. However, while I'm happy to accept that Macbeth perhaps overindulged a little bit, Alright, so we've got a few of those. Now, this is another ambush. Remember, he's dropping stuff. And up there... What? Hang on. Through the side of the wall is not okay. Yeah, that's a little bit not okay. So, what we're going to do is... Now, get out of there, because you're going to get warm food. Whoa! So I totally walked into that really nasty, uh, and, you know, should have seen it coming, didn't have see it coming, ambush. So you can watch out for that ambush, because you're smarter than me. But, um, there's an ambush there, which, you know, I guess should have been fairly obvious by all the shinies. All right. And we'll leave it there. 